In this IoT project, we will learn how to make an IoT based home automation project using ESP32 and the new Blink 2.0 IoT app. We will control a 4 channel relay module from the manual switch and smartphone. The project has real time feedback system as well. We can use the Blink IoT app from anywhere in the world and using internet connectivity, we can monitor the real time feedback in Blink 2.0 IoT app or Blink Cloud web dashboard. So let's get started and see how we can implement this system. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size and a solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now and receive the PCB in a couple of days. Welcome back again. Let's see the components used in this project. I used a Jero PCB. You may use a breadboard or a custom PCB. An ESP32 Wi-Fi module. A few push buttons will be used as a manual switch. A 4 channel relay board. And also 4 lamps for testing. Let's see the circuit diagram of this project. 4 relays are connected to ESP32, GPIO 17, 5, 18 and 19 pins. Manual switches are connected to ESP32, GPIO 13, 12, 14 and 27. The relay and ESP32 are powered via an external 5 volt power supply. Connect 4 AC appliances at the output terminal of the relay. I use this Jero PCB to assemble the manual switch and ESP32 together. This board is connected to relay and the output is connected to 4 AC bulbs. This box contains the relay module and the power supply required for the device to operate. Before moving to the coding part, we need to set up the Blink web dashboard and mobile dashboard. Open your web browser and go to blink.io. Sign up using the email ID. First, add a new device. Select the first option that is from template. Give any name to template and device and click on create. A new device will be created. A snip of the code header file will appear on the dashboard. Copy and save this code as it will be used in the Arduino IDE. Click on the template logo and select the template that you just created. A template page will open. From this template, select the web dashboard. From this page, click on edit. Now, we need to add the widget to the dashboard. Drag the widget called switch from the left side and place it on the dashboard. Create search for widget as we have 4 relays to control. Click on setting icon on widget 1. The following page will open. Give title name anything. For example, light 1 or relay 1. And under the data stream part, select virtual pin. Under data stream section, select virtual pin V0. Then click on create and then on save. Similarly, do the same for the remaining three widgets. Give them the names light2, light3 and light4 and select virtual pin as V1, V2 and V3 respectively. Click on save and apply to make changes to what setup has been made so far. Now, your web dashboard is finally ready. Using this web dashboard, you can control your home appliances. Apart from the web dashboard, you can also set up your mobile app dashboard. For that, download the Blink from Play Store or App Store. And you can follow the video to set up the dashboard. The mobile app dashboard looks something like this. Let's move to the coding part now. These three lines are taken from Blink Setup Dashboard. From these lines, change the Wi-Fi SSID and password. We need the Blink ASP32 library and the Ash button library. Add these libraries from the library manager. 
We have defined the relay pins as 19, 18, 5 and 17. Similarly, for switch pins, we defined pins 27, 14, 12 and 13. Partial pins is defined in the blink are V1, V2, V3 and V4. The initial state of relay is toggled to zero as we want to turn it off initially. We have defined the H button configuration here and created the H button handler. The rest of the commands are related to the blink applications and events. The ESP32 will connect to the Wi-Fi network and will synchronize with the Blink application. Alright, now we should upload the code. For this, select the ESP32 tape module from the board list. Then, select the COM port. Then, hit the upload button to upload the code to the ESP32 board. While uploading the code, disconnect to the relay power button. Once uploading is done, you can start testing the home automation project. As demonstrated here, you can send on off command from the web dashboard to turn the on off the bulbs. You can also press the manual switch button to control these bulbs. The feedback is reflected immediately on the web dashboard as well. Apart from this, you can test this system from the mobile dashboard as well. Send the on command to turn the relay on and send the off command to turn the relay off. That is it. This is how you can implement the internet and manual control home automation system project with real-time feedback using ESP32 and new Blink 2.0 IoT app. The complete project details, including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.